Greetings, I'm Geo Fatboy. I make shaving videos and sell shaving supplies. Visit ShaveNation.com for all your shaving needs. Have a great shave, have a great day. Greetings, gents. I'm Geo Fatboy for ShaveNation.com. Introduction to wet shaving, a beginner's guide. Maybe you decided to switch after seeing an irritating TV commercial. Maybe you've heard it's a better shave. Maybe you've heard you can save some money doing it. Maybe you have no interest in joining a club that certainly no longer costs a dollar to join. Maybe you'd like to stop adding to the two billion disposable razors that pollute our landfills each year. How you got here is not that important. What's important is that you're here. I'm Geo Fatboy. I've been shaving with safety and straight razors for many years. I've uploaded about 300 shaving videos with around 16 million views at this point in time. I'm here to help you learn about wet shaving, which is shaving with a safety razor, a sharp double-edged blade, shaving cream or soap, and a shaving brush. Get a few safety razor shaves under your belt and you will likely be hooked on your new shaving experience. It might take a few minutes longer in the morning, but you will enjoy it. And you're worth it, right? Of course you are. I'll go over a few of the things you'll need to get started as a beginning wet shaver. You can check out my other videos. I'll drop some links along the way. You can peruse further to see how it's done and to learn, improve upon, and perfect your shaving techniques. The basic kit, what you need to get started. Firstly, you will need a safety razor, which utilizes a DE or double-edged blade, which is very sharp. Only one side of the blade contacts the skin while shaving. There's no pulling or tugging as associated with cartridge razors. The blade slices easily through the beard. There are several different types of razors. The butterfly razor, the simplest method. Spin the knob, it opens up. The three-piece razor breaks down into three pieces. Handle, top cap, safety bar. The two-piece razor breaks down into two pieces. Handle and safety bar and the top cap, two pieces. An adjustable razor can be adjusted by turning a dial. That's simple. Or switching out plates. Flip the plate, change the aggressiveness of the shave. Hence the term safety razor. The blade is protected by a safety bar. Different types of bars flat bar or closed comb. This is by far the most popular. Open comb has teeth on the bar. A slant bar, the head and bar are twisted or skewed and it slices off the beard at an angle making it a more aggressive shave. The blade, a standard double-edged razor blade, will fit into most any safety razor. There are hundreds of different blades Blades have different coatings and degrees of sharpness. So try a few different blades to see what provides you with your best shave. Many razors come with at least one test blade, but a blade sampler pack is a good way to test drive various blades. A quality shaving cream or soap will provide slickness for the razor to glide across. They're available in many wonderful scents, so choose one that appeals to you. Avoid anything that comes out of a can, since those contain a lot of air and fluff and do not provide a good cushion for the razor. They also contain ingredients and propellants, which are harmful to the environment. Shaving creams from a jar or a tube are very slick and can be glycerin, plant-based, or tallow, animal fat-based. All that's needed is a small dollop to mix up a luxurious shaving lather. You may wish to apply a pre-shave before applying your shaving cream or shaving soap. The pre-shave will hydrate and soften the beard and skin before brushing on your lather. There are pre-shave creams, oils, and gels. A shaving brush will drive the lather into your beard and help soften and moisturize the beard hair so that it can be sliced off cleanly with your super sharp safety razor blade. Brushing on your lather is the most enjoyable zen-like moment of your shave. You can swirl the tips of the brush in the cream and then lather up directly on your face or for more plentiful, thicker lather, mix it up in a bowl first. As far as brushes go, there are many different types of bristles and handles. 
That's a topic for another video. After you've completed your shave, you might like to employ an alum block, which is a natural mineral that comes from the earth. It can be soaked in cold water and glided about the face. It will calm, cool, and tighten your skin and prevent irritation and seal off any small nicks. This white stick alum block is definitely a step above the old fashioned styptic pencil since it covers much more area and is easily applied. Yet, it leaves no white residue marks on your face. Apply the alum to your damp face, wait a bit, then rinse it off, then pat the face dry. Now you may wish to apply your favorite aftershave splash or balm. An aftershave balm is thick and creamy and offers an invisible layer of protection throughout the day. It is usually better for protecting the skin, hence usually preferred for wintertime use. An aftershave splash is lighter and dries quicker and may contain alcohol to act as an antiseptic. It may sting a bit upon application. Think Macaulay Culkin in Home Alone. Now that you have a basic knowledge of what it's all about, check out some more of my videos and head over to shavenation.com to get yourself hooked up with some quality shaving swag. After that, you'll be ready to conquer the world. Once you stop touching your soft cheeks, that is. Thanks very much for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Visit shavenation.com for all your shaving supplies. I'm Geo Fat Boy. Have a great shave. Have a great day. Uh-oh. Looks like I have a 4 o'clock shadow. Gotta go to shavenation.com. Have a great shave. Have a great day.